This time I got a cloud. The cloud is a lot like the P wing. I think you, you like. I just can. I can fly around in it. Nice. So it just lets me skip. Show me the. Cloud. Oh no no no! The cloud is actually a thing I activate. Send Mario to the cloud. I activate. I activate the cloud on the world map. Yeah. And then it allows me to store content on server farms. No, sorry. I, I activate the cloud on the world map, and then it'll just let me move over a level without entering the level at all. But it won't beat the level, so the level will still be there, so then sometimes you can't get back. I hear server farms are projected to have a really high yield this, this summer. So this is World 3. I don't like it that much. No? I don't like... I think a lot of these... I don't know. For the best Mario game ever, you should like every world a lot. Oh, it's a swimming thing? You don't like those. There's a lot of water in this in this world. That's why I'm not a huge fan. Was it only recently that people didn't like the water levels? Or have it might just be me. It might just be me. Because I've I've heard from basically everyone, like, ah, stupid water levels. And it's not just you. I think it's just one of those uh, internet things where like when you're a kid, you'd really just know your own opinion and a few of your friends, and then you know, now with the internet, you can hear lots of people's opinions. So yeah. maybe it'll be like, oh, me and my friends all thought the water levels were cool, but I guess no one likes them. Or something. I, I never I never liked or disliked them. All right. That's fair. I like, I, to, play, I like to stay pretty even on issues and not really take a side to things. That's kind of my... I can respect that. Yeah. I find that, like, taking a strong position on stuff... Uh, kind of not my style. Oh, so, uh, the guy who gave me the Saturn just said that he was, they were basically cleaning out the house, yeah. and, uh, he just found, like, in a closet somewhere, like, a garbage bag, uh, and he, he checked yeah, around. Yeah, sounds right so far. <laughs> he, <laughs> he checked around, uh, with everybody as to the contents of the garbage bag, and it seemed that nobody... Nobody claimed it. It maybe was just like a previous tenant from like years That's in the past. That's super weird. The contents of the of the garbage bag were as follows: a Genesis one, a Genesis two, two Sega CDs, a 32X, and, and a, a Sega, pack of condoms, and a Sega Saturn. That's um, so. That is a ton of stuff. Yeah, it was a ton of stuff. And he was just kind of like, I don't want, like you know, he's just not one of those people. He's like, I don't want a, I don't need a classic game collection. New suit, frog suit, New, frog suit. Will let it. me uh, swim it. around in water better. Not this one, I don't think. I save this for a better level. I want to see though. Let me see. Yeah. Don't get eaten by that big one with the weird tooth. That's uh. God, what's that guy's name? Swimmy. Yep, Swimmy. I'm all about him. good names for things. That's the best I name can't... for that guy. Swimmy. There we go. Did you see his weird tooth? Yeah. Ah! That was stupid. I hate this level. Oh god, I hate this level so much. Let me try. All right, go ahead. I play this game. Yeah. So uh, the that guy, the guy sent Wait, me. Uh, yeah. Right. The guy sent me a Sega Saturn and uh, one controller and an arcade stick and uh, the few games that it came with. Uh. No. Oh, you shit. made the same mistake yeah, I, did. I did. Give me that. I didn't. I didn't do bad though. Okay. Just because just because you did it faster doesn't mean you did it better. Disagree. You died in the exact same spot. Yeah. That's because I get really nervous when I play Mario games. Ah! Ah! Get out of here. Nice. Stupid. Dick. That box didn't explode. It's blinking. Ah! What was that slowdown for? That's some sick it, slowdown. It's the NES. Give it a break. No. I judge all consoles by modern standards. Like, I'm sure the fact that, My like... My name is uh, Andy Short. How's Andy doing? Did, he, did you guys ever record any more Halo? Nope. No? Uh, but he did return Dishonored, so good on him. Oh, that's great. I actually, uh... Well, I don't want to get too far did away from it. Did he like that. it? I didn't I actually didn't even ask. I, I assume he didn't even play it. But. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> I forget. Yeah. I should call him right now. And be like, Andy, did you like Dishonored? I just want to know. Did you play Dishonored? No, but uh, so this guy sent over a Saturn, one controller. It also came with an arcade stick. And um, he gave, he, he sent over to the two games that it came with, which, which were uh, Sega Rally, which is an arcade rally racing game that's worth like $2 or something. 
But he also sent over a copy of Guardian Heroes, which is like one of the like rare, I guess you'd call it, or if not rare, it's at least expensive. It's like wait, what's it called? It's called Guardian Heroes, and I looked on eBay and Amazon and saw copies of it going for like I saw it's it's, it's a it's a disc only copy. No, it's not oh. anything like that. It was just like uh like between I would say fifty and a hundred dollars. That's pretty good. Which is you know more, worth more than the Saturn. Yeah, um, Saturns are not expensive. And it's... Maybe I need to play it more. It seems okay. It seems like one of those games that is... It's it's ma mainly, I would assume, because they didn't make that many of them and because it's kind of unique. It has... It hits a, a lot of the, the hallmarks of... Ugh. Of things that were unique at the time. So it's like... It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up, but it has RPG elements and anime characters and a story. And you're like, oh man, a story RPG beat-em-up, that's nuts. But, you know, it's not that good. I don't know. That's sad. It's, it's oh, sad and when every game isn't great. <laughs> and it has, um... What does it have? It's got a Street Fighter type moves. Like, you do like a quarter circle forward punch and they'll... So nice. it's neat. It has some depth in there. It's interesting. We should definitely check it out. Okay. Guardian Heroes? Yeah. Uh, since then, I also bought uh, Tomb Raider because I was interested in the uh, Saturn copy of the Saturn version of that. Yeah. And I bought uh, Panzer Dragoon and... Panzer Dragoon is a good one. I played the hell out of Panzer Dragoon oh, when I had pa Saturn. Panzer Dragoon and Virtual Hydlide. Kyle, this is true. You hate Panzer Dragoon style gameplay, but have what? also never played Panzer Dragoon. True. So you're. I don't. I wouldn't say I hate it, but it's not one of you my. You have said you hate it. I I was exaggerating, but I played it a little bit. It seems neat. I don't know. I like I like that I like that you can you can pan back and forth between the side view and the front view. Yeah, it's neat. I mean, no one no one has ever made Panzer Dragoon style gameplay that's even like even like Panzer Dragoon games. You don't think kinda, so? They just kind of handle it so much better than pretty much anything out there. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I'm like a huge Panzer Dragoon. God, every time I say Panzer Dragoon, it's like a weight is falling on my shoulders. <laughs> You don't like the name? It just takes so long to say. No, I'm fine with it. It does. Name. Dragoon is a is a awkward word. Panzer Dragoon Orda. Just the, those words don't fit together nicely. Yeah, it's not like Panzer Dragoon Svi. <laughs> I don't even know that one. That's the second one. It's the one in between the original and Orda. Yeah. That was like a big like selling point for the Xbox, right? That was like a Yep. That it's was got like a, we've got Panzer Dragoon. I've never played it either. Ugh. Run out of time? Yeah. I don't know which is... This music's not great. No, it's not. What's up with that? I don't know. Like, What's up with that? The indoor music for Mario games has never been great. We know this. Yeah. But this is like... N this is like lower than even that. I think it's this next one. Fuck! You only have 70 seconds. But uh, I also, the other game I got was Virtual Hydlide, and I bought that specifically because it's stupid. Wait, Virtual Hydlide? Hydlide. Oh, Hyde. what is that? H-Y-D-L-I-D-E. What is uh, that? Uh, it's... Wait, come on. Yes! I can tell you that Virtual Hydlide sounds way more interesting. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That was, it was part of the, it's actually a Virtua Hydlide. Oh, yeah. It's, it's part of the Virtua series. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's like a, I guess, action RPG, yep. and it, you get like randomly generated worlds and stuff, and you go around and hit enemies and stuff. But what's great about it, what's virtual about it, is that it's like a, it's a, it's a video game. It's, <laughs> it's semi FMV, so like the character is like, oh, it's it's uh, digitized images of a real person. That's awesome. And it's it's so dumb. It's it's great. Man, I like. I like when stuff like that happens. I'm just gonna hit the this just one. Shut your eyes and feel it. Feel the music. This is it, Kyle. This is make or break. Ugh! You were so close. Ugh. 
Okay, we know that when you gamble, you have to shut your eyes first. It's the only way. Hammer Brother is much less of a pain in this game. Yeah, it seems like they're uh, they're not they're not doing you too much damage. Too, too much damage. Too much. I gotta I check all the blocks because sometimes sometimes those blocks have things. Um, also, instances of one Hammer Brother, which is confusing. Mmm. Mmm. Separated at birth, perhaps. Yeah. Or just like, you know, they grew up and they decided that's kind Why of... Why was like there never... What, there should be a Hammer Brothers game. Super Hammer Brothers? Like how, Super um... Brothers. See, there we go. And I got a hammer... No, oh, that's not the Hammer Brothers power-up, but that is that is a hammer. So I can use that hammer to break that block there. But that would just get me to a roulette thing, and fuck roulette, so... No. Yeah, but do it. No, I'm not gonna do it. Is there a better block you can break that has better stuff on it? Yeah. Um, there has to be. In the entire game, there's gotta be something. I don't know. I don't know shit about this game. Ah, you dick. Get... Fish dick. <sighs> Fish dick. That was a nice move. Thank you. And that flying Goomba drops tiny Goombas that wear sunglasses? I don't know. That's pretty cool. It was the 90s. They're cool Goombas. Cool buzz. I like that. I like that. Uh, I don't like the dying song as much, but I do like at the end there's two big like drum things. It was like, dun dun. Gotcha. Yeah. Let's try this one. Let's go Frog Mario. In the uh, the water. Look at this guy. He's adorable. Show me that guy. So when he's out of water, he jumps like this. Oh, but then it's when adorable. you're in here, you, you just can swim around. Yeah, Su I mean, Super Mario Brother World is a better game, but does it have is shit it, like this? Is no. it? Is it a better game? Yeah. Is but it like just just barely? But there's no there's nothing awesome like this. You can't no. swim like a frog. There, no, you can't, you can't fly like a raccoon. Yeah. You can't swim like a frog, you can't fly like a raccoon. Like, duh. Yeah. So fuck off, Super Mario World. Fuck right off. Fuck straight off. Fuck off into the left. Hey, uh, do you have a uh, micro USB? Um, no, but I do have a micro brew USB. It's yeah, like, I'll take it. <laughs> it's a, we did like a limited bottle run. I kind of actually brewed it in my basement, so. And will it, but will it charge my phone? It'll do something to your phone. Yeah, works for me. Micro brew USB. There you go. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, micro brew USB. That's, yeah, that's... Kind of hard to say. Micro Brew SB. Yeah. I can't believe that you're fucking... You're you're turning on me here. What? Like, I can't believe you're fucking Benedict Arnold over here. They were always pretty even in my, my head brain. Going... I thought we were Mario... I thought we were Mario 3 brothers. No, I'm... Yeah. Now it feels like we're Super Mario Worlds Apart. <laughs> Wait, but we're on the same team. So, I'm I'm with you for three, not for a world. I thought you changed your mind. I switched. I was I was on world's team, and then I and then mid game I'm switching. Ah! Do you understand me? When we started, I was for world. More I can't this. hear anything you're saying because I'm still just basking in the glow of that thing I just said. Super Mario World's apart. Yeah, it was great. S uh. Oh, let's uh, was, actually. Here's here's great. here's a good place where we can use that hammer. Yeah, it was great. Like when we used to read tweets instead of talking about stuff. See, now I'm in the boat. I can just go wherever. Yeah. Fuck. Stuff. 
You can't just go wherever, though, right? You can only land here, so yeah. You know, I can go all the way up here. Yeah. Secret dock. Oh, secret dock. Pick a box. What's in the box? Why do you always pick different boxes if it's random? I don't know. I like to be unpredictable. Okay. How come the islands are made of Swiss cheese? Good question. How come Mario? How come? Yeah. I'm asking him. How come? How, how come? How come? I don't like that word. How come? Yeah, it's two like words. It. Uh, I don't like that phrase. Along with... Uh, so like I said, that guy sent me that that copy of Guardian Heroes yeah. with the Saturn. Yeah. Uh, but he sent it over in uh, an empty case for Virtua Fighter Remix. So now I gotta buy Virtua Fighter Remix. Ugh. A caseless version. Thanks for thanks for giving me that chore, guy. He was also nice enough to send over the 32x because I asked because I was like maybe that 32x won't have the same video issue with the fading reds at the top as mine. Does it? Totally does. Maybe it's maybe just it's 32x just thing. maybe it's just maybe 32x thing. Maybe Sega made a thing that didn't work right. Yeah. Though weirdly enough, I found that when using a CRT, it's way less noticeable. Huh. I don't know what that's about. Yeah. Maybe they uh like back in the early 90s, Sega couldn't account for what would happen if they put their machine in LC. <laughs> yeah. I don't think any executive at Sega was like, what would happen if you plug this into, like, a light crystal display? That's liquid. Are, liquid. Liquid. Not light crystal. Liquid crystal. That's why they're so expensive. There's jewels in there. Ah. Actually, they're really cheap. It's, it's one of the plus sides yeah. to the... Oh, wait, no. Our plas no, plasmas are the cheaper ones, right? Uh, no, plasmas are more expensive, and they're also worse. Because there's like lots of well, issues with plasmas and lamps. No, I think plasmas are cheaper than IPS LED s screens. Is the thing. What's IPS stand for? It's like a it's like a, s a special super good version of LCDs. Oh, okay. That that one up there is an IPS, I think. There's um. There's another thing that isn't plasmas or LCDs. What is that? Um, I don't know. There's like a third thing. They're like LCDs, but different. I, probably IPS L LED. Nah. Oh, LED. Yeah, there we go. That's what oh, I mean. sorry. Yeah, that's what I meant. I was confusing LCD and LED. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sorry. LEDs are the expensive ones. LCDs are the cheap ones. What's LED? What is light emitting diode? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess that's not a... I don't think that's an LCD at all. I think that's an, an LED. LED. Yeah. You got some diodes in there emitting. Or I, maybe LED TVs are technically a form of LCD. I can look it up. I cannot. <sighs> My phone ran out of battery. That's not. Hey, let me hand you this, though. I think, I mean, what are you handing me? Here, play with this, sweetie. <laughs> this is a Sega Saturn controller. How do you feel about that? I own these. Are you sure it's like that? I am not sure it's like this. That's a, uh... Sorry. I don't like this. You don't like it? I think it's really cool. I hate these green guys. These shoulder buttons are the worst. Yeah, those are worn out. So many buttons. I this love is the... like a modern controller's amount of buttons. Yep. I love the insane shape of it. It's a pretty crazy shape. Have you seen the shape of the Xbox One controller? That's weird, right? I think it looks great. I think it looks great. I think I like oh, everything hey. about it except for like the lip at the top, where it's like just bigger at the top. On the the the, the controller. The X bone controller. Yeah, the X bone controller. The X. Uh, hmm. So yeah, okay. Now I just remembered things that have happened since the last time we recorded. Yes. Yeah. X bone. X bone. And also. The announcement of the X bone. The announcement of the X bone also. Um, there was like a greatest console. There was a whole. <laughs> There's uh, there's a whole thing about uh, like uh, uh, Nintendo claiming uh, content ID 
stuff on YouTube videos and everything. Oh was... man, what a piece of shit that was! That was right. That's not cool. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it's not people giving Nintendo shit. YouTube came to them and was like, "Do you want to do this?" Exactly. Yeah, like, that's what like I'm... Nintendo. That's that's kind of the stuff that I wanted to clear up I about. Have people not been talking about that because I didn't read anything past like hearing what happened. I think I think for people that don't put videos on YouTube, yeah. you know, you wouldn't really know the differences between like copyright claims and content ID stuff. So a lot of people are confused when they say that like Nintendo is making content ID claims or whatever. Yeah. People think that it means that they're either taking videos down, uh, which would be wow, that would be super shitty. Yeah, that would be way worse and bad for them. Yeah. Even worse for them than this is. Yeah. Um, um, basically, it, it means that and, and they're I'm, saying that they they own a part of the content that people are making by putting up videos with their games in it. Well, the way... Like, con the, the important thing is that it's different from, like, a copyright claim, where a copyright claim is when someone goes to a video and, and looks at the video and says, I own a thing in this video, and then they and they claim it manually. Yeah. Content ID is an automatic system that's enacted when a video is uploaded. And, it, and you know, like, Sega does it, too. Like, we had a couple videos that got hit with, like, content ID stuff for our Sonic thing. Konami does it. We have uh, more than one of our Silent Hill videos was hit with a content but it was, ID. It's, it's like specifically that was before that we we were part of a network. No, right? no, no, it was after. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Um. Well, let me think. So is that why we're not making the big bucks? No. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. You yeah. are right. You're yeah. Totally and then right. that stuff stopped as soon as we joined a network. Uh, no, 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 it still happens. It's huh. an automatic system. Um. But it'll just be a certain things. Like for Sega, it was like they put content ID claims on, like the, the, the like, opening song to one of their. Yeah, it right? was. No, it was like they put it on one of their Sonic Unleashed trailers, and it was a trailer that plays in the game if you let it sit at the title screen for too long. So then it, like, and that one actually. So like with content ID, they get options as to what they want to do. So you can say the harshest one is just to say that if. It's if it detects your content, then the video just gets blocked, and that's what happened in the case of that Sonic Unleashed thing. Yeah. Like we just had to cut that part out, and I was like, "Hey, if you want to see that part, go to the blip version." Yes. Um, you know, w with the Konami stuff, it would be like they would detect like the FMV sequences, mm -hmm. but they would just say um, it would they would just prevent you from putting ads on it, and then it would put its own like um, sort of like the banner at the bottom of the video style ads yeah. that would benefit Konami. So, I just, I, I wanted to clarify, not to say that it's necessarily great, but it's not, like, having certain things that are automatically detected, and then it puts, it either prevents ads or puts on, like, re you know, like, relatively uninvasive ads that benefit Nintendo is not, it's not draconian in yeah. the way that people might think it is. And also, I would say, to look at it from Nintendo's point of view, I, I think I even tweeted about this where I said, like, the funny part is that Nintendo probably thought this was a win-win for everybody. Because in their mind, they're, they're going like, no, look, like, we're not taking the content down. Like, we're just, like, we're letting people put it up, but, like, we it's get some money. Them, yeah. Or, like, they don't get to profit from it. Like, how does this not work? Not realizing that, like, the internet kind of already decided that's not how things should go. I, and, and I don't know which things that they're blocking. Yeah. You know, like, people are asking, like, is this going to affect your... I think they're blocking, like, specifically high-traffic videos, right? Well, no, no, it's... That's what the implication was. No, because Content ID is an automatic it's system. A, yeah. So, it would have to be, like, they could block... I don't know. Like, it's, it, it's really hard for video games, because it's not... I don't think it's advanced enough to be able to look at a video and be like, oh, this is gameplay footage of this game, so take it down. Like, it's not that good. Right. So I think it might just be able to catch, like, you know, FMV sequences and maybe a title screen or something like yeah. that. So I don't know what it is. Like, I wonder... But, but, like, I wonder what YouTube thought the benefit is. Well, YouTube gets money from ads also. So it's yeah. like, hey, Nintendo, you should put ads on all your... on all the videos with Nintendo stuff, and then we can all make some money. Like... So that's that's what it is. I, I guarantee like, ah, the ones that don't have ads now will have ads. I guarantee you, what happened was it was kind of like the the same thing 
how uh, a lot of XBLA games got a lot of shit for coming out at fifteen dollars. Yeah. And but the thing is that if you're if you're in the know, you know that Microsoft is really the one that sets the prices. So they kind of decided that that game should be fifteen dollars or whatever. Yeah. And I bet it's probably along the same lines of like you know someone at YouTube being like, yeah, dude, content ID, like get on this, and like you know. Yeah. Like, Nintendo put out a statement, and it's like, no, look, see, you know, unlike some people, we're not taking our videos down, because we want people to share our content. It's like, yeah. I almost, I almost feel bad, because it's, like, I can honestly see someone at Nintendo thinking that they were doing a good thing, and then just blew up in their face, like, we can't do anything right! Yeah. Not this year. Not this year, no. Because this is the not this is you, oh, but this like, is the year of Luigi. Speaking so, of no. all the other, listen, Bob like Luigi. It's like the, that's the best idea they ever had. Year of Luigi. Yeah, year of Luigi, pretty good. Except when you consider that it's the first year of a new console, it should probably be the year of Mario. Yeah. Year year of the first console should be year of the characters uh, that people care but about. But did you read the uh, like the three hundred percent spike in Wii U sales post Xbox One reveal? No. Yeah, they like. I mean, f like selling 300% more consoles than what they were <laughs> selling is still nothing at all. <laughs> but it's true. It's totally true. Uh, yeah, they like they they showed did you like, a huge but but like I mean like hours after like in the hours following the Xbox One. It makes thing. sense. I mean, there are some good games coming out for the Wii U. I mean, it's never gonna it's never, it's never gonna, gonna hit that critical mass. No, no, but it's. What if it did? Like, what if one game came out and everybody was like, we have to get... Well, there is this. that game. What's it called? That game's called Sonic Lost World. <laughs> have you seen the trailer for that? I yeah. haven't seen the trailer for that. I have seen it. Are we, is it, does it look good? Yeah, it looks interesting, I yeah. Read, I read, see, I didn't watch the trailer because uh, uh, I, I got too mad at the article that I learned about the game from. Which Why? was saying, like, it was basically like, you know how every Mario game, I mean, Sonic, Sonic yeah. thing, pretends like the last few Sonic games haven't been good? It was like that, where it was like, the last couple years have seen some terrible games in the Sonic franchise. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. The last couple years, a couple years ago. <laughs> the last couple years, a couple years ago, exactly. Yeah. But they were like, can this be the game that finally turns it around for the Sonic franchise? And I'm like, what are you... Like, it, that stuff just really frustrates me, because I'm like... It just, yeah. It's just people will, will never... People will never be satisfied with the state of the Mario franchise. I mean, the Sonic franchise. <laughs> State of the Mario franchise, though, kind of in question as well. Yeah. Um, you hear about Super Luigi U? No. There is. They're I putting. I've heard about it. I don't know anything they're else. They're putting out a, a like expansion pack slash DLC thing for Super Mario Brothers U. That's just called Super Luigi U. Yeah. Uh, but it's also gonna come out on disc. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to buy it on disc because it comes in a green case. Nice. I love. I love alternate color cases. Yeah, they're great. Like I've got a ton of green cases for my Xbox. See, I thought, I thought, um, what? the the year of Luigi, I thought was kind of weak. I felt like they were kind of grasping at straws, and they were like, "Oh, we accidentally have two Luigi games." So, year of Luigi. Now that they have this Super Luigi U thing coming out, it feels, uh, it feels more official. I'm more comfortable now. Yeah, you're with more comfortable the, with the idea of the yeah. year of Luigi. And I and I can almost guarantee oh, that Super Luigi U was something that they came up in the middle of this year. I would love, uh, I would have loved them to instead of inventing the year of Luigi to have just embraced last year's year of the bow <laughs> <laughs> and just came out and been like, no, Link's, Mario has a bow. Link's crossbow training two yeah. and three in the same year. I was thinking more like Goomba shooting arrows. I see. Um, oh, but also along the same lines uh, of the Wii U sales increase, did you yeah. see the Sony stock? No, dude. it's so hilarious. They they pulled up. Um, someone took a, a screen grab of like you know from like Yahoo Finance or some shit. Yeah. Of like the the stock for on the day that they announced the X Bone. Yeah. And uh, you know it's like Sony stock is like holding steady, and then suddenly like right at like 1:20 p.m. it just shoots up nine percent. Wow. There's. <laughs> I told you about like the the thing that my that I told my grandfather to do that he never did, right? Uh, in concerning Netflix stock. No. He, it was like, so, uh, uh, it was like, so Netflix stock, like, totally bombed after they tried to separate themselves from their disc service. Yeah. Quickster. And, Quickster, yeah. And it was down, it, it went down from, like, basically, I don't know the exact numbers, it went down from, like, $100 a share to, like, $20 a yeah. share. Yeah. 
or like maybe it's like 150. You know, may maybe it's just hindsight, but like that's an easy buy. Yeah. Like, was, how do you I, not go for that? I had been that? telling people that whole time, like, I don't know how to do stocks, but if you do, you should buy Netflix stock, probably, because that, that shit is not going away. Dude, you could have gotten on that stock thing. I told... I, I, told I bet it's not that hard. It was, like, around... It was when they announced House of Cards, and Netflix stock was still, like, 35. And I was, I was like, I was grumpy, the thing I call my grandfather, grumpy. <laughs> you gotta buy Netflix stock it's gonna I think it's gonna go like way up it went up like higher than it's ever been after that that came out it was like it was like crazy the spike that happened like if he bought if he bought it if he bought it like six months ago and then sold it the day after house of cards came out he would have made what like, is house of cards house of cards is a uh... wait yeah house of cards is the, the 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 first like Netflix original series okay that came out on Netflix um, and it was like... This is Wendy Okupa, by the way. Uh, Wendy Okupa? Yeah. I like that. I like Wendy Okupa. You do? You yeah. like it? You're a fan? Yeah. Um, he would have, like, tripled whatever he put into it, basically. Yeah. Or more, probably. Y you could have tripled whatever you but put I didn't into have, it. You have to, like, have $500 to invest stuff in stuff. Ugh, that's tough. And I didn't have $500. I still don't. No? No. Why not? I don't have any money. Dude, you gotta get in on this, like, uh, better paying job thing. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'm looking for stuff.